Hello, hello, it's Stacy here. How are y'all doing? Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm, um, this is my first pour of the day because I had the don'ts again and I was having trouble getting over them. And anyway, this is, was pretty, but um, not pretty enough. And I did one yesterday and I really like the color, so I wanted to do it again. And this is it, and it's got Deco Art 24 karat gold. It's got Deco Art coral. It's got burnt umber um, by a uh, brandless. Well, I think it's U.S. Art Supply. Um, it's got Liquitex bleached titanium, unbleached titanium, whatever it is, and some Deco Art pearl mixed together. And it's got copper by. Artist Loft and Rose Gold by Deco Art as well. That Rose Gold is one that comes in the tubs, like the 24 karat gold. Um, and it's really good. All those in the tubs are. Um, I've used the blue, there's a metallic blue, there's a, it's kind of like sapphire, but a little brighter than that. Um, and there's a like a garnet or a burgundy shade and there's bronze and there's silver and I've used most of them and they're all really good. And I made plenty of this cause I got a small canvas I'm gonna do as well right after this, but, um, oh, and there's black, Master's Touch Black in there too. I forgot that. But I like these colors. Um, I did it in a um, video I haven't posted yet from yesterday and it's a Dutch pour. And I like the color so well, I thought they'd look good in a regular pour too. So um, I decided to try them out today. And um, yeah, I was having motivational issues earlier today. Um, and I finally got over that. And so here I am. This has already gotten some cells in this little part that spilled out here. That's pretty cool. All right, I think it's run down enough. Let's give it a shot here. Um, wipe this canvas because I was mixing this paint earlier and I poured some of the pink and I guess it was a piece of a wrapper or something poured off and there it was a huge piece of something and yesterday when I was doing a pour there was a piece of gunk in it that was about that big I don't even know what it was and I had just wiped that canvas so I don't know where the gunk comes from but the gunk comes so let's see here I like these colors. I think the pink with it is really pretty. Alright. Let's watch that briefly. Look at that. It's already sealed up really pretty. And now to tilt. My canvas, my pour table is still tilted a little bit to the left. Um, I have struggled with that and struggled with that. And I put something in it to brace it yesterday or the day before. And it, it's a lot better than it was, but it's still not fixed. So I still have some work to do there. Um, but my room is always in some state of flux. There's always something I'm working on or trying to improve or fix or something um from making my new porn table to you know my lighting to you know whatever and on the youtube grow your channel videos it says not to get caught up in your gear so i don't get caught up in it but when i find something that needs to be done i i'll try to do it because it makes your videos better if you do but um i get what they're saying yeah, this will be plenty of paint. I don't need that fourth cup. I'm gonna use it to 
do a little one because I just like these colors so well. Okay, I'm damning this other side over here so all those pretty cells right there don't pour off. I want that side cover, but just barely. I want to keep that all that good stuff right there. All right. <clears throat> Let's go this way. I'm already loving this one. I think it's very pretty. I like the black. I like the, that rose gold, it almost looks like a bronze, but with just a little pink thrown in it. Okay, cover that in there. I don't want to lose these pretty cells right here. So when I move it over, I'm going to keep my finger there. I got to get that side covered there, but I want that stuff there to stay on. So I'm going to dam that up. And it can pour a little bit and around me all at once. In fact, I'm going to let it pour a little bit that way. But see how nice that is? And then you just slide your hand down and you got your cells just the way they were. Uh, okay, we gotta pour a little bit off here. I'm gonna pour off that kind of uninteresting stuff there. So I get to the black. And then I'll come down. I don't see a lot that's uninteresting in this one. It's all pretty interesting, but we gotta pour some paint off of here. I've been having issues with crazy lately and I don't understand it. I think it's because I have such a problem pouring paint off. I get so excited about how pretty things look. I don't wanna pour off enough paint and I end up with um, too much paint on the canvas and that's what causes crazing as far as I can tell. Um, That's really pretty. And we got lots going on over here, so I don't like those little finger projections, so, so I'm gonna go back and pour it down straight. That's really pretty. And I can get to the corner and pour off the corner without those fingers if I if I let it come down first. And pour off some. Then it won't get all I don't like all those zigzaggies that you get when you're pouring paint off from pouring too fast, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. I always want to try to put them right. And uh, we're gonna go back this way a little bit, stretch out that pink, get rid of some of this gray with putting the pink in the middle. Stretch that over. That's not causing any zigzaggy, so it doesn't bother me. Yeah, I don't like them. Um, and uh, they happen usually when, when you're pouring paint off. And I don't know if they bother anybody but me. Um, I have an idea that it's it's just some kind of little thing of mine. Um, but see it, you it costs them just doing that, and but you can you can get rid of them if you put it back where it came from, kinda. Um, you can you can get rid of them. And I really don't want to pour off that much more because um, I really um, I like it. I do want to like to interfere with that gray there a little bit. Pour some of this pink into it. Make it not like such a big swath of gray through the middle.
because those are some pretty colors coming across there. Not that I don't like the gray and the pink. It's pretty. There's just too much of it right there. And that will allow me to pour a little more paint off. The only thing about doing the dam technique is it gets your hands really, really wet. <laughs> you have to, you have to really dry to be able to get your hands on your torch again. And then my nose itches when I've got paint all over me. I don't know why that always happens, but it always happens to me. As soon as I get paint everywhere, something on my face is gonna itch. It's just a matter of time. to watch things sell up. Oh, this has got some interference gold in it, too. It's mixed in with the white color, the pearl. Or, no, the gold. I don't know. It's mixed in with one of them. Isn't that horrible? I can't remember from... I did do this about an hour, for this paint about an hour ago, but I can't remember which one I put the interference in. That's a really terrible memory. My mix is the same. It's just uh, one part paint, one part PVA, about four parts Floetrol, and some silicone. That's my usual regular paint pouring mix. This one is pretty. Love all that gold. Alrighty. Let me get y'all down. This is the this is the one I did with those same colors. Um, it's already dry. That was from yesterday. I haven't posted the video yet. My, kind of behind on my computer work. Here's another one that's dry. That's one that the lacing didn't come out as strong as I wanted it to. It came out better in this one. All right. And I want to take you in there and show you these that I've got that are resined. Um, because I like to show things, you know, when they're actually completed. So you get an idea of what things um, have turned out like you know in the end see that interference in there it's so pretty I always regret wasting time with the don'ts in the morning because then I finally get up and do something and I'm so happy about it I don't know I guess it's part of having depression um, you know I just sometimes don't have any energy don't have any motivation you know it takes me a long time to get going um, I have chronic back pain with herniated discs and stuff like that, too. So, I take medicine for that. And once it starts working, I'm usually okay. But this other thing, this motivation deal, um, yeah, I think it's just part of depression. It, it's hard to 
uh, it's hard to get motivated sometimes, and I take medicine for it too, and and it helps. I'm so much better than I used to be, but um, you know, there. I'm gonna take y'all with me. We're gonna take a tour. This is my messy room, very messy, and uh, I'm gonna take you into my kitchen and show you. Here's one of them. This is my traditional piece that I've been working on. And this is a traditional piece that I painted about a year ago. Um, that's waiting there for my sister. And this is my kitchen that I have taken over, as you can see. <laughs> and uh, here's one, um, and it's embellished. Those two over there are not uh, resin yet. This one is, this was a pour, uh, a Dutch pour I did. And I didn't put any embellishments on that one. This one, I just put some glitter. And you can't really see it in this light, but there's some glitter on there. And this one right here is resin. And I just put some glitter on it. These two over here uh, still need resin. And, um, but that's the way they look. And um, since we're here, there's my rose bushes in my backyard. And I'll show y'all why I bought this house. Because that is my view from the front yard. See that beautiful pasture out there? I have this big yard I can play with. And I built those beds and stuff out there in it. And I planted them. I have my greenhouse um, over there, which you can't really see. Well, you can just a tad bit. My greenhouse. But that pasture out there, I get deer and all kinds of critters that come up. And as soon as I saw that, I told my husband, I said, well, this is the house. The house needs tons of work. But I saw that and I said, we have got to have it because we'll get all kinds of critters and all kinds of things. And we do, and we don't have to upkeep that pasture. It just, the guy next door, you know, takes care of it and we get all the benefit. So I think it's a win-win. Anyway, so y'all have had the grand tour. Thank y'all for joining me today. I appreciate it, like always. And uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. That helps me build my channel, which I'm trying to do really, really hard. So y'all have a great rest of your day. And thank you for being here. And come join me next time. I'm always around because I do this every day, at least when I don't have the don'ts. So um, anyway, y'all feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm around. Y'all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.